Hi everyone, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Laura and today we are going to work on some DIY projects. I have this tree in my backyard that I just, it's a crab apple and I just think it would look so much better if it had like some whimsical decor around it, right? So that's what we're going to do today. Um, I'm going to do five different projects and hopefully not spend any money at all. So come with me and let's get into it. So the first project I'm going to work on is this um, little bird cage that we got at the swap shed. It was free. Um, <laughs> um, I think I'm going to paint it white. I still have some leftover white spray paint. So I'm probably going to spray paint it white and then turn it into a little planter. So I'm going to see um, if I have anything that I can throw in there for decoration to make it a little bit cuter and uh, put some plants in the bottom and I think it's going to be super cute. So for the bottom of this, in order to provide some drainage, I need to put some holes in it. But I find when I use a drill on hard plastic like this that a lot of the times it will crack. So I am using a hot glue gun with no glue in it it's just plugged in and hot and i'm just pressing this into the plastic until it pushes its way through and that's going to make my drainage holes it's going to take a little bit longer than it would with a drill but it's worth it it won't crack and here it is with all the holes in the bottom and i'm just sticking a little paint stick to block that slot that's in the front so the soil doesn't fall out. And I am going to spray paint both of these white. And then I had this little guy laying around that I got from the Dollar Tree a little while ago. I just had him sitting aside because I liked him but I didn't love his paint job. So I changed him a little bit made him better and he will be decorating my new little birdcage planter and I put the soil in and this is going to be in kind of a well pretty much a shady area so I pulled a few plants from around the garden that I had extra I have an English ivy a Virginia creeper and a bull's black viola so I'm just going to arrange those in here. And I put my little guy in here. And then I also had a mushroom, like a little craft mushroom that I found. So I put him in there. And then I also pulled just a few little pieces of moss uh, from a mossy spot in the yard that we have. And I put that in there as well. And I think it looks adorable. And here it is with the lid on. I like how these two little doors, after I pulled the plastic pieces out of there, these little vines just come out like perfectly through those little doors. So that looks really cute. And then I think I'm probably going to tie up the central door when I hang it. Okay, for my next craft, I am really excited about this, and I can't believe that I haven't done this sooner. Um, Blair Witch, the Blair Witch Project is one of my favorite movies of all time, and I'm going to make a little Blair Witch stick figure doll to hang from my tree. Uh, I'm probably going to end up making a bunch of these. This would be a fun um, Halloween project for people. Or if you're into witchery, this is a fun project as well. So I have gathered up some sticks and I am, I, I drew the little guy out on a piece of paper so I know what it's supposed to look like. And I am just going to tie these together with pieces of twine. So super like rustic looking and really, really easy. When you start tying the twine, it can be a little tricky at first, but once you've got it wrapped around a few times, then it gets like more secure and then it's really no problem to just keep going. The 
design you're seeing here was designed specifically for the Blair Witch movie. But in witchcraft, you see these in all different forms. Um, really depends on who's making it. And then I had mentioned in a few of my other videos how much I have been struggling with making a top for this pedestal that I have that I am wanting to turn into a bird bath. I tried a few times to make it out of cement. I'm sure you guys have seen like those DIY concrete like leaf statue things. They're just not as easy as they seem. <laughs> Or or I just don't have the touch. So I tried making a cement one a few times and it just did not work out. It kept breaking on me and things like that. So um, I'm like looking around for other options. I came up with a good one, I thought, which was to use the bottom, like the, um, the thing you put underneath a terracotta planter, like the little tray, you know. I thought that would be perfect for the top of a bird bath, but I couldn't find one that was quite big enough around me. So I looked around my house <laughs> because I like to do projects for free and I had this pie plate or pie glass thing that, you know, it's already tempered glass and I thought this is pretty much the perfect size. This could work. So I am painting it. Um, just on the outside, I'm not painting the inside part where the water's going to be. I'm just going to paint the outside um, in kind of like a stone texture-y kind of way. And then I'll, I'll probably fill it with some rocks because I know they like to not be slipping and sliding <laughs> in the bird bath. So I'm uh, going to do that. And I think that hopefully that will work. And if it doesn't, then maybe I'll try the terracotta planter thing idea down the line but for now this is what we're going with and our next project I have done something similar to this in the past um, I have a decoration in my house that is sort of like this and I am basically going to replicate that so I wanted to make a crescent moon that has moss on it to hang from the tree so I found a few embroidery ho hoops like plastic ones that I had in my craft stash and I cut it so that it's more of a crescent moon shape and then I stuck the ends together with some yarn and then I wrapped the yarn all the way around the entire thing to secure it and also because if you use hot glue on plastic a lot of the time it will just pop off once it once it's um, cooled down it'll just pop off but if you put it on yarn it won't do that so I am gonna be gluing the moss to the yarn itself and then I will be putting a few little um, artificial flowers on here and just a string of yarn to hang it from the tree and I think it's going to look really pretty. And I love this project. It's like one of my favorites. It's super easy. And since I'm working on this, I will just tell you um, why I have <laughs> so many projects that include yarn and or moss. And um, if you're familiar with my Etsy shop at all, I am a wig maker. I make yarn wigs. Um, and one of my biggest selling wigs is Tafiti from Moana she's got so she's um the way I make her she has green hair and uh also a moss crown so I literally just have so much of this moss in my house <laughs> um at all times so I love to use it for other projects as well and the the best thing about it is that it comes in these bags and when I take the moss out of there it's full of like little teeny tiny twigs and things so I clear them all out to use for my work. So I have a lot of reject moss that goes into a second bin. And then I just use the reject moss for my craft projects. And it just works out perfectly. And then my last project is just going to be a mushroom. I have this bowl that 
I just think it would be perfect for a mushroom top. And I'm going to use an old piece of really big PVC that I have. I'm going to repaint this bowl and turn it into a mushroom. And I think it's going to look really cute. So here's the end result of my projects. Here's the bird bath. It fits nicely. I did have like a little um, raven that I wanted to put in there, but I could not find the answer to whether or not birds would like that or what, or they would hate it. So for now, I'm just going to leave it empty. And then here is the bird cage looking adorable i ended up lifting the door on the front just tying it up so you can see a little bit better in there but that is looking so cute and whimsical i love it and i put my Blair Witch stick figure a little higher up on this limb. This tree doesn't have an, a lot of limbs that come like sideways out. So I did the best I could with placement of things. But I love this and I love, I kind of like how it's kind of, you can't really see it that well until you get close up. So it's almost like, whoa, what is that? <laughs> you know? And then I put the crescent moon uh, kind of in the middle of the tree. So she is living her best life here. Able to spin whichever way the breeze may blow her. And my little mushroom, which is perfect in every way. I am obsessed with it. <laughs> I dug like a little bit of a hole so I could sink the PVC into the ground a bit. And uh, then I just pop the top on and I think it looks so cute. And I'm obsessed. And I really like all the little projects that I did and I didn't spend any money on any of these. So <laughs> that is the best part about it. And I've added some whimsy to this tree and I hope to add some more I, I would probably I don't want to overdo it <laughs> but it definitely needs a few more things don't you think I might put like a little squirrel feeding station so that's an idea and then I was thinking maybe like a wind chime that I DIY something like that and oh maybe something on the front of the tree like either a green man or I have another idea that I think will be really exciting anyway <laughs> um, I hope you guys liked this video if you did don't forget to like and subscribe so I am going to say goodbye here and I'm gonna leave you off with a few wildlife clips like I like to do this is a deer that's been visiting us lately uh, I was able to get this shot of her, but then the next day she came by and she had her baby with her. And I was not fast enough to grab my camera from, for that, unfortunately. But she's beautiful. And this is our little groundhog friend eating in the backyard. So cute. Okay, thank you so much for stopping by and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye!